Hello, everybody. Welcome on in. Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Lovely to see y'all out here. Welcome, 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 welcome to another mountain building stream. Hi, hi, hi. Hello. Welcome on in. Finally able to catch a stream. Ties, what's going on? Umberfy, how we doing? Lulu Goblin, good to see ya. Sparrow, ro, 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 ro. Hello, Otzi, hello. Scribbly Dibbly, Cass, Kylie, what's going on? Uh, Philosoraptor, thank you so much for becoming a member. I really do appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for providing such entertaining content. Love to listen to streams while working. Hello, hello. Hey, Mr. Beardstone, how you doing? Welcome on in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I think I was actually just watching one of your videos earlier this morning. Oh my gosh. A Kirkland sweatshirt? Yeah, I got to represent the local the local Pacific Northwest chain that we all know and love. <laughs> That's a good one. My family got this for me last year. <laughs> it is one of the it's one of the coziest sweatshirts I have. <laughs> what color is your shirt today? It's black. I know. I, I, there were a few people that said black shirt. Uh, there were a few people were right. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's just chilly. So I'm just like, it's, it's, yeah, you can see the black shirt right there. Just plain black shirt. Good old Costco. Can never go wrong with Costco. Uh, except for when you do go is uh, you spend way too much money. Hashtag not sponsored. Oh yeah, no. Dude, if Costco sponsored me, I would accept that in a heartbeat. <laughs> uh, Anima, hi. Hello, hello. How you doing? Welcome on in. Good to see you. No worries. No worries. Thank you for being here. No pressure at all. Uh, Delaney, what's going on? Oh my gosh, this music is still bumping. I forgot to turn it down. E, eh, loud in the ears. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What's up, Bait? How we doing? Obvious Pachyderm. Hello, hello. Nova Gray, what's going on? Costco is the best. It's true. It's true. I, every time we go, I'm just like, I go through the clothing section. I'm like, oh my God, there's so many good things here. <laughs> SS Love, hello, how you doing? Santa Fe, what's going on? Emmy Sophie, what's go Sophia, sorry. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. I'm a little sleepy today, but I'm good. I'm good. It's a busy morning, so I didn't get a workout in, and I think I, I normally use that to like help me wake up, and I didn't get that today. So we might be a little chill going to the stream. But I'm good. Lizosaurus, what's going on? Happy Wednesday. Hello. Happy November, everybody. You've survived another month. You've done it. Spooky season is over. It's on to uh, the holiday festivities and things like that. Uh, but the poll, I will say 30% 30, 30 of the people in the poll today have said you can put up your holiday decorations today. 6% already said they put them up. And then, uh, so yeah, do whatever you want. Do whatever you want. We, are, we got a few neighbors down the street that already have all of their Christmas lights or holiday lights on their house. So, you know, they, and theirs have been up for like two weeks. They did. They were like mid-October. The sun's... The sun sets early here in the Pacific Northwest. You best believe I'm putting up the holiday lights so I at least get some light coming in through the windows. You can do whatever you want with your decorations. It's true. It's true. It's very true. Lexi, thank you so much for the dono. Friday is my 20th birthday. Ooh, happy early birthday. We'll probably be streaming then. If if plan if things go according to plan, we'll be streaming on Friday too. But you know, uh, go enjoy your birthday. Happy early birthday in case we don't see you. Trying to fix my hair. It's like doing this weird thing today. What is this? What's this little little bit in the front doing? I don't know. It's doing a thing. Uh, Renny, thank you so much for the four months. You like mountain building? Cool. That's great. That's great. As soon as you see the first snow. See, but by then, it's like too cold to put them up. Unless you're like really out there doing it. Because if it's snowing, you probably need gloves. Or you probably want gloves. You can do it without. So I'm, I'm very much a before. I'm in like the get all of the stuff out of the yard phase right now before it starts raining because i think tomorrow it's supposed to start raining for Please the foreseeable future you. gotta love seattle um and uh so i'm like i need to get out there later today and just finish not finish just another round of leaf clearing in the backyard <laughs> there's so many leaves we have on our property we have probably 10 maybe 12 just massive trees most are evergreen trees so they have pine needles and they're like a hundred feet tall but we have uh we have an oak tree and we have a maple tree that just oh my gosh they they're right next to each other and they just boom all of the leaves down and it is uh it's it's a lot of cleanup to do every single time but i love them there it's i love them i just remember it was so funny when uh when everybody came out for our wedding and Jem was here she was just like 
these trees are so tall i love them she was just like so amazed by how tall the trees were <laughs> how long have you been in the in your house uh, we've been here about three years now yeah so S no we get storms here can i can i get back to the us i mean it's, it's on you it's on you oh my gosh on the train we'll lose connection any second instead of fire hope you have a good one and thank you so much for being here and uh no pressure at all maples dump their leaves all at once yeah I, I, my backyard can confirm that <laughs> my friends if you have not already please be sure to leave a like on the stream it very much helps me out and youtube did the new like button you can see how rewarding it is click it and you get a little wee so i do appreciate it thank you everybody for real. Doing that. friday is my 20th birthday oh there that goes that took a while but i think it's time we get into minecrafting stuff because we've got stuff to do I've been very busy. I've been working on the next episode like crazy. Look, stuff. Uh, and yesterday, if you didn't know, sorry, we're a little late, uh, but you can capture. Wow, it is. How many frames am I getting? I have finally installed the better F3 mod too, by the way. I'm getting like 40 FPS here. What the heck is going on? Um, I need to figure out how to clean up the chunks here. They're getting a little, a little iffy, but I caught some mobs. So we've got two zombies halloween 2023 that just have that i i played for eight hours yesterday and i only slept to reset phantoms and i didn't get anything cool but we got this guy with a glowing jack-o-lantern on his face he's pretty fun um i'm wearing the chest piece just in case we find some spooky friends i swear i had a skeleton over here ah there he there he is there he is yeah, so we got a glowing jack-o'-lantern skeleton over there, too. And then let's get out of the base for a second because, whoo, it's laggy. I took your FPS mod advice and sodium is a godsend for my potato computer. Yeah, if you set up all the performance mods, Java runs so much better. It's so dumb. There's the skelly. Yeah. <laughs> Where's the skeleton? Incoming arrow. <laughs> Uh, and then I came over here to the ice bikes biome because I was like, hmm, you not know what would be really cool with a pumpkin on its head? Oh, no. No, don't kill each other. Don't. Yeah, so I got a stray. Ow. I think I have another stray over here, too. Also, I got my new cape. Uh, if you if you didn't know, if you voted in the mob vote or apparently just... Yes, yeah, so we got another stray right there, too. So we got two of them. So I have to move them and do something with them later. But I, yeah, so we got those. That's a bow, not rockets. Uh, but if you didn't know, you can lo you could have uh, logged onto the mob vote server. I think it was either logging onto the mob vote server or simply just voting through the launcher. Uh, you could get the pink cherry blossom cape in Java and Bedrock. Jinxie, thank you so much for the 10 gift memberships. I really do appreciate that. Thank you so very much. That's very, very kind of you. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Can the mobs spawn in every world? Yeah, but they only spawn on October 31st on Halloween, and it goes off of your local time. So if you're if it's if you're somewhere in the world, I don't think there's anywhere where it's still yesterday. Because I don't I don't think anybody has that. But um the cape is also a light throw wings. Yes. Yeah, so we got. Yeah, so if you if you want a pink cape, you can get one in Minecraft now. Thank you so very much again for the 10 gift memberships. I really do appreciate it. That's very, very kind of you. Uh, yeah, I think I'm all caught up on the notifications. Sweet. And uh, I've got a lot of empty shoulders. Oh, I wanted to go. Well, first, I'm going to get some rockets. And then we're going to go and see how we're doing on resources at the mountain. Put those in there. Glad to finally catch a live stream. Been watching some of the VODs, but it's not quite the same. Hey, yeah, I get that. Breno, welcome on in, though. Lovely to have you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Also, download the same sky pack. This isn't a sky pack. This is the Better Clouds mod. So, if you downloaded that, yeah. A little different. Sky packs are just a picture in the sky. This is actually a mod. You can... You can full on fly through these guys. Look. Whee! So these are actually like volumetric clouds up in the sky. They're super fun. I love them. Okay, so the plan today for the mountain, now that we've been blabbing around for 15 minutes, 
is I want to, I really like what we did last stream, ow, where we kind of started stitching it closed from that side moving out and finished off all of that. So I want to continue that from here. So we're going to focus on this nice connecting all the way down through there along this entire ridge line, bring that down into the train there and then start bringing it around to this back edge and see where that kind of comes along there like i think this might honestly be like dirt that almost goes straight down to the bottom we'll see but that's the plan today is i want to focus on that seeing how far we can get along with it and uh where it goes from there i'm gonna put a replay marker right here so i can get a before cinematic how many i got two three four and we got one and two i think we actually need to go mine some dirt because i don't have any dirt left Okay, we're gonna start with and fill, let's go fill two shoulder boxes of dirt, and then we'll uh, we'll come back and get working on that. I forgot the mountain wasn't done. You did well, only showing the front. <laughs> I built it with kind of the edges curved in, and so you, could, you couldn't even tell that the back wasn't done, especially in the thumbnail. I did, I did a I, I did that on purpose so it looked fully finished. <laughs> But that was for the 24 hours building video, right? I think that's when we did the the first mountain. I don't need anything in there. Dude, I got to figure out what is causing all this lag back at the base. This is not fun. Perspective is key. Exactly. 69 FPS. Can I get a nice in chat? 45 FPS. Not as fun. If I look that way, I get 70. It's like... There's like a chunk right in here that's like broken. And I can't figure out what it is for the life of me. How's your Halloween? It was pretty chill. We had some trick-or-treaters come by. Uh, so we hung out downstairs playing Mario Kart. And that was super fun. And then just kind of waited for trick-or-treaters to come through. Made dinner and all that good stuff. And it was chill. Just spent the day working on minecraft -y videos and stuff. Trying to catch the cool Minecraft mobs. Lucas, thank you so much for the one year. A year of watching Flip went by quick. Thank you so very much. I really do appreciate the whole one year. Enjoy the big old tree. You got, you are another part of the club. We need it. We need a name. We need a name. We need it. We need a better name for the, the club of people who have fully grown trees. Because we don't have it. Was it a trick or treat? Yeah, we had a bunch of trick or treaters come by. Um, we probably had, I'd say like 40 to 50 kids in total. Not as much as we've had in the last few years, but, uh, we've had a good amount. So I've been kind of just coming through here and just destroying this train. <laughs> a little weird, but this is kind of how we do it. Actually. Yeah. Um, but, uh, but, uh, but, uh, is this where we want to mine? Let's wait to sleep and then we'll see. I have a fully grown tree, but it's a small potted lemon tree. Yeah, we got the the, the members in chat. As as your membership months go up, your tree grows and gets bigger and bigger. So at the one year point, you get a full grown the Flip Forest family. The for <laughs> that's just no. I'm not even gonna finish saying that. <laughs> Doesn't sound the best. I didn't. I needed. I didn't even need to say the word out loud. I'd be like, nah, not gonna work. <laughs> Brenda, thank you so much for the 10 months. I do appreciate it. Can't believe it's only been 10 months. Dude. That's a long time. I really appreciate it. Okay. I know dealing hey, with the uh, snow is annoying, but becoming a member. Looking forward to it's also something 50. I can't see Love is why I've been content. doing it by now. Nova, thank you so much for the dono. First time I've ever been able Based to catch this. Hey, I really appreciate it. Yeah, episode 50 will be out next week. Tomorrow, we are releasing the 5,000 Days movie, which would be pretty fun. That'd be cool. All right. I'm thinking we start taking out this hill. <gasps> There's llamas. Hold up. Pause a moment here. I have not had naturally spawned llamas close to my house in so long. I've literally never brought anything home that's not a wandering trader llama. I'm sorry. We are completely sidetracking this whole plan right here. Do I have any hay bales? We are bringing the llamas home. I should have hay bales in here for decoration. Please? 
I don't have hay bales. I can't, I can't, I can't make them not. Wait, I think I can get on them, right? And then that'll tame them. Yeah, okay, so we can tame the llamas. We tame the llamas and then they'll be my friend and then they won't despawn. <laughs> and we can take them home. Okay, there's one. And you're gonna be number two. Oh, he has no health. Dude's got what, seven hearts? <gasps> Look at that wolf. He's, he's zooming. Come on now. Come on now. Come on. Yep. Okay. There. There's that step of the mission complete. Llamas, with me. We're going home. Then we'll come back and destroy your home. But we're taking you to a new one first. Okay. So we got two white llamas. Any other llamas up here? Are wolves scared of llamas? Wait. Are wolves? Nice to meet you. Are Minecraft wolves scared of llamas? Am I just learning this now? That dude is zooming away. Wow. Is that a thing? Is that, I don't know if that, is that a thing or is that just coincidence? Okay, let's go up here. Oh, he's gonna go kill. No, that he ran away. <gasps> Sheepy, stay with us. Wow, you learn something new every day. They spit at wolves, yeah, but I don't know the wolves ran away. No, we can't get through there. We go over the mountain. You're llamas, you can do it. There's a fox too. Sorry, emerald ore. Had to. Another emerald ore. <gasps> it's Coda. Hi, Coda. <laughs> There's a chance for wolves in this in my texture pack to spawn with uh, the textures of my dogs. <laughs> so that there's a Coda over there. Ooh, another emerald. I just I don't have any bones to tame him and the llamas. So yeah, he, he's he's a he's a wild Coda. Breed them, breed the llamas. I don't have hay bales. I can't breed them right now. Also, Otzi, thank you so much for the 14 months at tier two. Let's go. Love the content and inspiration. Leave a like, everyone. Flip Forest, Flip Force, Flipsters. Okay, I'll stop now. Yeah, yeah, I think we're on the. Yeah, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. One day. One day we'll figure it out. Did I miss another emerald? It's okay. We'll be, we'll be back. We'll be back. Three emerald ore. The timber flips. Uh, yeah, yeah. We'll workshop it. We'll workshop it. Where should I put these llamas? They need. They're gonna need a home. We 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 won't build them a home today. But it would be cool to have like a natural. Not natural, but like a herd of llamas on top of the mountain range. That'd be kind of fun. So maybe we'll put them in like the custom train in front of the... No, you guys can't go that way. You guys would be stupid. You'd fall in the pit and get stuck. Build a house. Build a house. Mountain building stream, but honestly, it's a ooh shiny. Hey, we were on the track to go gather a bunch of dirt so that we could build the mountain. And I'm not kidding when I say that the video where I did all of the advancements and the one where I had to breed all of the animals, in order to find llamas, I had to go almost 6,000 blocks away from my base because that little mountain biome right there where we just found these two, there were no llamas. But I did, which it seems to have respawned some llamas, is when I went over it, I murdered every single animal on there for a chance of more passive mobs to spawn. And now we got these two. The fliplings, the saplings, the fliplings. There we go. There. It needs to be something that we can have like a cool catchphrase for, you know? 
Like when people hit the one year mark, we're like, I be like, haha, welcome to the to the fliplings. You're now a flipling. I guess I guess the the saplings also goes with uh when when you have a when you when you get the one one month, you still have a little 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 sapling, little baby tree. Look at these llamas though. They're just zooming. They're just happy. And for two years, two years, the tree changes colors. So two years, three years, and four years, you get a different colored tree. We have one person right now, I think Raven Munster, if they're in here. Hi. I know you lurk a lot, um, but they are the longest member by far because, oh my gosh, there goes another Coda. Um, they're in like the third, I think they're almost 36 months. I think they almost have the three year tree because they became a member like a year and a half before I even started streaming on YouTube. They were one of the, I had like, before I started streaming on YouTube, I had a total of like 30 members and most are lo no longer members, but Raven Munster is one of the people who has been the member for by far the longest on my channel. When's your next video? 5,000 days movie releases tomorrow. And then next week on Thursday will be Hardcore Episode 50. And then the week after that is going to be a really, really fun video. I'm so excited. Our, oh my gosh, look at the tree. Not, not the little oak tree, the big tree behind it. That's so fun. Setting an alarm. Yeah, that's good. I'm, I'm recording the... The one that goes live after episode 50, I'm recording that tomorrow uh, because I it's it's going to need a lot of time in the oven for editing. It, it's it's going to be a big it's going to be a big I think it's it might be the biggest video that I've recorded on my channel that involves other people. That's I think I think it is. I think it's fair to say it's the largest video I will ever have recorded on just my channel alone that involves a bunch of other people. I don't really do this type of content, but I, I want to try it and see how everybody likes it. And if it is, I want to try incorporating them in like every few months, something like that. Okay, we're going to just tie these two to this tree over here. Pleased to meet you. We'll just put the llamas on the tree here so that they can hang out and they'll be nearby the mountain range. No, I want to put both of you. Thank you. Okay, you two hang there and uh, we'll put you up on the mountain eventually. We just need to finish it so they don't fall to their death. Liberty, thanks so much for coming to support her. I really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Collab? I know it's a collab. Collab. Collaboration. Yeah, don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to leave a like. We got a thousand people in here, not even 600 likes yet. I believe we can get up there. We do need to get bones, you're right. Sun's, go Sun's going down though, so we gotta go quick. How many different skins do you use? Uh, this is the only skin I use. Unless I make another one for a series like Empires, this is this is my default skin. I like having just the one Minecraft skin. I don't like changing it up much. I've thought about having different outfits and things and whatnot, like different clothing sets I can change as I'm going. But I also really, really like the idea that um, 47 Emerald Ore. Everybody, like, you know, you're, you know. How am I trying to say it? You can see my skin from a distance and be like, oh, yeah, that's flip. And I, I, I enjoy that. I, I enjoy that. The colors I think I've picked and everything like that are very much unique to uh, my character. I do wish there was a way. I, I'm thinking about redoing the armor trims. I don't know if I'm really enjoying the amethyst anymore. I think it's a little too off color wise from uh, the rest of the skin. So I might change it up soon, but we'll see. Holiday stuff. Yeah. The problem with doing the holiday stuff, though, is... Hey, buddy. Hello. Yeah, you can come with me. Uh, if we do the holiday stuff, 
We'll just leave him there and he'll teleport randomly to us. We'll be like, oh my God, dog. Um, is if I'm doing holiday stuff, it really time, not time, time gates. Oh, hi. Uh, time gating isn't the right word. What would it be? Uh, it really sets the videos about being stuck in that season where I really try and make all my content timeless. That's why you don't see me doing like, here's my big Halloween build, or here's my big holiday build and building a big holiday town. I might do some of that stuff every once in a while, but uh, I don't do too much of it. And it's very intentional. It's very on purpose because I want to, I want content that I produce to be pretty timeless. So people that want to watch a flip video, they can pretty much boot up any one and it feels more, it feels like it could be pretty present. The only difference is the Minecraft update that I'm playing in, which I can't control that. Hey, for real. Like the stream, you all. Thank you for the dono and the reminder, Jenny. I appreciate it. Okay, now that we've got all that out of the way, we've successfully been distracted twice, which means it's time to get pork. We spent 15 minutes chatting pre-stream and then 15 minutes getting distracted. That sounds... That sounds like we're on schedule. We're, we're on schedule, everybody. Don't worry. This is, this is norm. This is the norm. building a gas farm but don't have wither roses i was wondering what you did i didn't use any wither roses in mine uh if you go back to the video i made it on i think i mentioned the tutorial but i used the nether portal based gas farm so basically the gas spawn and then they go into the overworld instantly so instead of needing wither roses you're gonna need so much obsidian like i think i tore down two pillars in the end to be able to make it uh, so enter at own risk and then they teleport in the overworld and they die to uh, getting stuck within a small portal frame so they get entity crammed to death my gas farm is pretty good though I, I like it it's not as great as like a creeper farm so if you want a pure gunpowder thing just build a creeper farm Which reminds me, underneath the mountain, before we mark it as completely finished, we do need to build the creeper farm. So I think I don't know. Do we do we do that before finishing the this whole round, or do that before we finish the texturing? I gotta make sure I really spawn proof the entire thing inside if we're gonna build a farm inside of it, because if other mobs are spawning in there, that's gonna be rough. Imagine making fun of somebody for saying they appreciate what you do. Wow. 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 I don't know. That's where I, that's where I was going with that. <laughs> Build logical geek boy creeper farm. I built logical geek boys creeper farm. I think at least ten times. Lizzie and I built it on Empire Season 2 when we entered the gunpowder game because Jimmy's farm was awful and we got fed up. So we built our own. And then even with Jimmy stealing our gunpowder, we still had more gunpowder than him. So there's that. And, uh... Ooh! Emerald! Ooh! Piece of candy! There are bedrock creeper farms. Yeah, I'd, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm glad that they have the ability to like make farms on all versions of Minecraft. Like, could you imagine if you could only build a mob farm on, on Java edition? <laughs> oh, that'd be awful. But I also know there's a few people like, I think Dallas, Dallas Med. He just kind of did a reset in his, his survival world. If anybody is, wants to watch a bedrock let's play. He's, he's got a very casual let's play. It, it's nice. It's, it's nice to have like a slowed down pace compared to everything else you see on Minecraft YouTubes. Uh, but that being said, uh, I know he doesn't typically build big redstone farms or big mob farms or things like that because he prefers to have that slower pace. And 
I, th I think he's like recently been like, yeah, I'm just making farms. <laughs> I, I do enjoy the slow pace, but then I also get fed up with having to, like, do the same task over and over and over again. Outside of mining blocks like dirt and wood and thing and these ones that are simple and easy to get, and you can kind of turn your brain off and just mine, but if you have to, like, constantly be fighting creepers at night to get gunpowder, be able to fly, I would not enjoy that. Dallas is so chill. Yeah, he, he is pretty chill. I hope he's able to turn it around for his channel because I know he's talked recently about he's uh, not too sure how much longer he's going to be able to do YouTube as his full time job for. So I hope he's able to turn it around and keep going because I enjoy his videos. It's always a bummer when you see people have been doing YouTube for a long time, make the announcement that they can't do it financially anymore. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. No, nope, there's number two. It's definitely one of those things that, like, <clears throat> puts in a perspective of, like, you, you just can't control on... Ooh, wait, wait, is that a Nova? You can't control how... Ooh, it is, it is! Wait, get back here! Get back here! Thank you. Let's put you up with your brother. Don't be scared, there's two of them. Oh, oh, no, that's her. Thank you. This weather has been making me sneeze so much. Curse you because Halloween. Halloween is yesterday. We can't do that anymore. Come here. Come here. Look at how cute you are. Oh. Yeah, that's accurate. This is accurate for them. Yeah. Anyways, you. go check out Dallas if you haven't. He's cool, dude. Especially if you're a Bedrock player and you're like, everybody only plays on Java. He plays on Bedrock. Oh, speaking of him, Raven, we were talking about you earlier. Thank you so much for the 31 months. People are asking about trees. That wasn't weird, I promise. I was just like, oh, Raven, I think is the longest member we have on the channel. And they're getting close to the three-year tree. And there we go, 31 months. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. How's it going? How are the dogs? Fun fact, as you're certain, coconut crabs start out as hermit crabs. Interesting. There you go. Do they, like, evolve as hermit crabs and they're like, I will be a coconut crab now? Or are they just, like, predestined to always become a coconut crab? Doggos are good, though. They were very happy with the trick-or-treaters coming by last night. Well, Nova kept barking at them because she was like, who's coming to the door? And Koda was like, I just want to go say hi to the kids. Koda loves kids. He he just loves hanging out with kids. It's really cute. He just wants to be up there and sniffing them and hanging out with them. He, he's also super gentle. We he like never was around kids as a puppy. He's always been a gentle dog, but he's I just all every time he's around kids, I'm so surprised at how good he is with them. That is a pit. Yoink. Oh. Oh. Oh, we got a reinforcement. Wow. Okay. We can move on. You have seven pets, it's chaos. Hey, as long as you're embracing it and caring for all of them and you love them all, and then that's fine. I, I like, I love people who just have so many pets and just spend so much time caring for all of them and all that. Like, I think that's so cool. But then you also have the flip side of people who just love the idea of having pets. And so they just keep getting more and more pets and then they just don't really care for them. And I'm like, that's so sad for the, the pets that they do have. They just get less and less attention. It is a lot to plan your life around, though. 
it's very limiting when i mean we only have two dogs but if we're trying to go anywhere we need to find a dog sitter we need to find a family friend to take care of the dogs and it's so it just adds so many extra steps and costs to travel that you don't really think about until you're in it which is a big bummer but also when we are home which we're home a majority of the time i love having them so it's very worth it you have plants yeah. Yeah, my plant, ha my plant in my office has not been looking good recently. It's not enjoying the change in seasons. I think it's going to come back, though. Sid got it for me for Valentine's Day two years ago, maybe three years ago. Like, the first Valentine's Day that we were in the house. So, two and a half years ago. And, uh, something like that. And it has, it was like this tiny little succulent thing that had like two leaves on it. And look at this thing. It's huge now. I have to show it. It's my, it's my office child. Look at this plant. I've repotted him twice already, but he started out with like one or maybe two of these little leaves. And look, look how big he is. He's so big. Yeah, that's, this is my office plant. He sits, he sits over next to the window. He, he keeps growing too. I, I need to get like a stick to hold him up because he's getting so heavy on the top from growing so much that he's starting to fall over. So I need to get like a stake in there to hold him up. What's the plant's name? He doesn't really have a, I don't, he does not have a name. He sits over there with all the Lego plants, probably being like, why are these so much more colorful than me? And then they just don't, they just don't have to move. Plant dad spotted. Life goal, life goal to be honest. I would love, I'm trying, I'm trying. I, for those who don't, haven't followed that long or just didn't remember, Pleased to meet I got you. into gardening. So we, I have a little veggie garden that I started last spring. I'm definitely doing it next year. And that's like a, that's a hobby I want to keep throughout life is just very much gardening and doing all that stuff. I had so much fun with it. Armip, thank you so much for the 21 months. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hi. You have any plans to join in Hermitcraft? I already did. I already did. I like what I'm doing. Don't need to. The problem with doing that and joining series like that is you have to give up pretty much everything else you're doing. I like the SMP series that we run because it's very possible to do those SMP series and still have a single player world. I And I wanna make sure that my channel always has a focus on me and I find the best way I can achieve that is through a single player world and doing my own thing. I absolutely love messing around with all my friends and SMPs, another Emerald Ore, um, but I want my main focus to be a single player world. Like that's just how I want to do things. I think that's the healthiest way to run a channel because the content all is driven, like derived around me. And then as fun extra content that we do on the side, we introduce some friends and do that sort of stuff. Um, so I think for health of the channel and health of like long term, like longevity of a channel, like focusing on single player content is the best way to go. Um, and I don't want to give that up. I definitely don't want to give up the hardcore series. I love this series so much. Hi, Flip. What is the full name of the Dallas you were talking about? Also love uh, Dallas today. Med Kissing 65. Face. That's caps lock. If you can read that, that's it in chat. Somebody else can also type it out in the, in the chat. Okay. There we go. Two shulker boxes full. Now we have two shulker boxes full. Yeah, what Liz typed out. Lizosaurus. Now we can get up out of there and we have su successfully destroyed the area. Actually, I guess we found the llamas over by that tree. Okay, two boxes, full, full. We're good to go. And we can get our puppy dogs, our new puppy dogs, and bring them home too. 
Thankfully, these will teleport, so we can just do a little fly. You host a supporter server too, right? Would you ever tour it? I want to join, but I want to know more about it. Uh, I've done the last few tours just in it. I did the last tour in a Discord call, just hanging out with them. So I could be more in hangout mode and just being there and interacting with the community more so than doing a live tour. And I really enjoyed that. And I think that's the way we'll do it in the future. Uh, just because there's so much to see on there. I would say if you're looking for a long term, specifically a long term survival world, then be then check out the supporter server. If you're looking for a server that resets every single update and kind of all is resetting every few months for people to restart, the supporter server is probably not for you. But if you want something where you really enjoy building, you love a long term world and you just get a little bored kind of being alone but you want to have like the option to be able to hang out with other people then the supporter server is probably something you're looking for okay we're gonna drop off the three puppos right here they can just hang out we'll find a new place for them eventually but yeah look at them they're so cute oh boy, you're so adorable okay doggo's dropped off uh let's go Drop off the emerald ore we got. That can go in there. Seed in there. Bones in there. Doot, doot. And then we're going to go pick up some more stone. Is there something broken with slime farms? Found a slime chunk, but after I cleared, I'd go to mount. Nothing is spawning now. Uh, you need to double check that you're in the right chunk, to be honest, would would be the first bet. Um, if you're using a seed map or if you're using like a third party thing to be able to tell you it's a slime chunk, uh, especially there's a lot of like mods you can use to figure out if you're in a slime chunk or not. A lot of those require you to actually enter the seed of the world you're in, not just turn on the feature. So make sure that slimes actually spawn there. Um, but a big part also is for slime chunks is you need to spawn proof the surrounding area so that mobs only spawn inside that chunk. So if after all that, no slimes are still spawning, you're probably not in a slime chunk or something else is wrong. Wait, do I have your brush? <laughs> if I have one of your items, I can log back on. I don't remember who threw what to me. <laughs> Yeah, we only have mods on there that are for enhancing vanilla gameplay and protecting people's bases. Because um, we run off of a diamond economy and very much an honor system. Honor system that we can check is what I, I describe it as typically. But we've set up a system where we can kind of see who's accessed what barrels. And you'd be surprised at how many people log on and then they're like, oh my gosh, wow, I could go mining for diamonds. Or this person has a shop that has sold everything out of it and there's like 40 diamonds in here. I could just make a set of gear. Um, so we see a lot of people that unfortunately do that. And then very quickly, the mods are able to track down who did it, when they did it, and how long. And uh, so many people still deny that they ever did anything. It's quite interesting. <laughs> so... We have things on there so that players can protect themselves because it's still pretty anonymous being on the internet and all. We, it's definitely a much safer community than you'll find on a public Minecraft server because everybody's there for the same reason. Having it and also having it behind a paywall is actually makes it a lot safer and easier for people who are on there to enjoy it more. So we do that. I don't need a second stack of arrows. I'm just going to get rid of that one. We, the mods do see everything. <laughs> ODSD, thank you so much for the dono. I'm going to let that one read out whenever it decides to. <laughs> also, Dalian, thank you so much for the dono. I think I responded to your question, but thank you for the dono. Yeah, definitely check out Dallas. I love him. If so, Patreon or YouTube. Uh, you can do Patreon or YouTube. Um, just pick the perks that you enjoy the most. YouTube gets you all the emotes and the green name here in chat. So if, if you're in streams often, I'd recommend doing this one. 
uh, Patreon just kind of gets you the bare bones stuff. That all being said, though, uh, tier two. You need to be tier two. So I, the supporter tier and tier one do not get access. But tier two will get you access. Epic green namers. Exactly. I've, I've had a few people reach out and be like, hey, I became a member. Why don't I get access server? And I'm like, you need to read the descriptions that give you access to things. It's I'm real. sorry. It's November 1st. Y'all know what that means. Merry freaking Christmas. Get those trees out and blast all I want for Christmas. Things are going to be jolly. <laughs> World download is for tier one members and up, and it'll be out when episode 50 releases, if not shortly after. Okay, uh, let's start placing blocks. Yeah, look at this block placing going on. Woo! Blocks. Blocks on blocks on blocks on blocks. Cookie, thank you so much for becoming a member. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What? What's everybody hating on yellow Skittles for? I swear, all Skittles taste the same. They all taste like rainbow. What more do you nice need? To Skittles are good. So we we bought uh, two bags of candy for the trick or treaters. One was all like sweet tarts and family of like what that company candy company produces, and the other one or part of the candy, and the other one was all like Kit Kats, sk not Kit Kat, uh, Twixes, Snickers, and like chocolate bar type things the amount of people that did not take any of the chocolate bars and i was so hoping they would have done the reverse <laughs> probably better probably better that they did not do the reverse because that means i would just be eating all the candy but uh, yeah i was i was very surprised at how many of the kids that came out for trick-or-treating were just like straight on they were like sweet tarts or nothing man Okay, I'm not I'm not eating any chocolate bars. <laughs> I feel like I I was always alone in that. Uh, maybe maybe the chocolate bar is falling off. Maybe it's it's old. It's aged. They want to do, yeah, the sweet tarts. We have like none left. Almost the entire bag is gone, and we still have over half the bag of the chocolate ones left. This would be kind of a fun curve little section. Nice in here. to meet you. Yeah, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Off road and outlaw. Thank you so much for the dono and becoming a tier two member. I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. That's very, very kind of you. You're doing well today. Welcome, welcome on into the family. The flip family, something like that. Thank you so much for the five gift memberships as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really do appreciate that. Thank you so very much. All the support. Thank you all so very much. I really, really do appreciate it. It's 
Hey, for real. Lemon flavored anything is yuck. You guys are entitled to your own opinions, <laughs> but my opinion is the only correct one. I will die on this hill. <laughs> Ka-ching! Yeah, lemon flavor, I feel like it can be very overpowering. It's very quick to take over at anything it's in. But it's not, yeah, I don't know. I, it, it's got its place. I think most flavors have like their place that they can shine in a dish or in a candy or whatever it might be. It really just depends on how it's executed. The levels, the, the levels of each flavor really, really matters. You gotta get it right or it's really, really wrong. You know? Okay, we're gonna do this back to here and then... Also, ODST, thank you so much for the dono. I really appreciate it. Down with the lemon, down to the lemon empire. Okay. That's what I read. Okay. That's where we're going. Where did you get replay mod 1.20.2? Because the website, they only have 1.20.1. I'm still on 1.20.1. Uh, but what Liz said is there most likely is a release for Patreon supporters that you can get. I have not looked yet because I just haven't even bothered updating to 1.20.2. I would love to update, but I also have the case of I'm too lazy and uh, there's too many things to do and I cannot be bothered to go and update all of my mods. <laughs> and that is the whole reason I haven't updated yet. It probably would be better. It probably would get a lot more stability in the game and everything. Because I know a few bugs were fixed in 120.2. And diamond generation got increased. So, like, real realistically, I should be doing it. Am I doing it? No. Not even thinking about it. I'm also at the point where I'm like, eh, do I just... They also are working on 1.20.3 now. And so, now I'm just over here. Like, do I just wait for 1.20.3... And then I update so I can procrastinate even longer because if I go to 1.20.2 right now, by the time I do that and get everything in there, 1.20.3 is probably going to be releasing soon. So, I mean, what's even the point? <laughs> I would love to get into 1.20.2 though. I think I'm gonna do that and delete a bunch of chunks in the world so we can get the newer diamond generation possibilities. Oh, geez. Uh, a little closer to home. And then I wanna do a video with, I, I think I'm a little late now seeing as it's gone, but also this is always a good video topic for Minecraft, I think, once you have an established channel of seeing how many diamonds I can get in 24 hours. Mostly because I've never had a diamond beacon legit and single player so i want to try and do it hey 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 i've at least got some torches but also yeah guilty done that many times definitely yeah i think i even beat beat ups to that punch uh if you haven't seen my old original building with whip survival world uh yeah that that was a mob farm. I, I'd go show you all right now, but I have a replay mod thing running and I don't want to cut it yet. But if you remember the mountains that we built there that were 300,000 dirt and about 300,000 stone had been placed into them by the end of it. Yeah, that, that there was no light underneath that thing. We doomed that to be a place that nobody ever goes ever, 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 ever. That was bad. That was really bad. The whole place underneath. But the upside is the mountain range on top. So friendly. 
no mobs spawned on top because they all spawned below. It was... I think that's how I mob-proof my world, is I just build my own terrain and I leave it dark underneath. And then the only... There's so many mobs already spawned underneath that by the time the sun falls, there's no mobs left in the mob cap to spawn. Ah... Spawn proof. Who needs a mob switch? Mob switches are stupid. I have an El Naturel mob switch that I built myself in a mountain. Actually, this I want to bring. Oop. Getting some weird frames, though. I don't like this. I think I need to figure out what's causing those because it's getting a little annoying. So I'm thinking we need another cliff facey thing up in here. I'm trying to figure out how these cliffs go. So big brain, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, so we started doing a lot of these in here. I think this guy needs to have a flatter section coming off of it here-ish where we can have a little dirt and then have this slowly kind of sweeping out here because that'll give us a lot more space to work with there otherwise it's going to be a a lot of big straight stone lines and we don't want that we can do that but we don't think we want it yeah so we can do something like this This can all kind of come back along here. Actually, these can be some dirt coming down. Perfect. And then this, I'm thinking we want to have the dirt extending. Let's go like two over on the stone and we can bring some dirt kind of extending up this way. I try and break up a lot of the stone faces with our dirt here so that we can just get it to be more interesting. I just, I hate looking at terrain that is just purely stone or purely like one material category. Even if it's textured, I still find it pretty boring. So I think doing this and adding in these big dirt elements would be the easiest way. Fran, thanks so much for the 20 months. I really appreciate that. Thank you so very much. It's so dark right now in Germany. It's making me sleepy. Yeah. Sun's been going down at like 5 o'clock here recently, and I'm not here for it. Like, by the time we're eating dinner, I'm looking outside, and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's just, it's actually just pitch black out there. <laughs> Okay, what have we done so far? How do we like? I think that's good. We got this whole little section in here done. So from that texturing over to here and up to there, that's all new today. I like it, except I don't like this. There. And we're also going to do that to here. I'm trying to have them beveled outwards, if that is a term. I don't know. Do that. It is? Okay, cool. Didn't know if that was used in terms of building mountains or not, but we're using it here in that case.
Uh, Sasha, thank you so much for the dono. Give the treat to the doggos for me. Love from Switzerland. Hey, thanks so much. I really do appreciate it. They had plenty of treats yesterday. Do not worry. They were living up the Halloween trick-or-treating vibes. I just kept walking up to them being like, trick-or-treat, and I just give them a treat. <laughs> uh, they they both, uh, by the end of the night, were like, do I get you. another one? Do I get another one? I was like, no, you're, you're done. You've, you've had like 15 treats tonight. You're fine. You have sensitive tummies. You don't need it. And they're like, but give me a treat. I'm like, no, I can't. Okay, one more. Hey, for real. Give a treat to the doggos from me. Love from Switters or Lad. Smile. Uh, good job. Good job, AI. Good job. Also, May, thank you so much for the six months. I do appreciate it. Uh, thank you for bringing the cozy vibes. I'm not ready for the cold winter. It dropped like 20 degrees this week here. Ouch. I'm hoping you mean Fahrenheit. Just, I'm hoping. For your own sake. Yeah, it's been chilly these last few days, but I think we're beyond most of it. it I think, unfortunately, it just means the rain is coming back, which I'm not as excited for. Normally, I don't mind it, but this year, it's, it's getting to me. I think it's just the idea of having to go out in the rain and walk the dogs and everything. I'm just like, ah, oh, no, I don't want to. Yeah, we're going to add a little cut in here. So we can add that darker texturing. And that will come out to... Here. And that kind of adds to this little bit of we can bring that out even further and then that can have its own slope in here. Sorry, I'm just in block placing vibes mode over here. I'm figuring it out as I go. I, I don't have some grand plan for this. <laughs> in Texas, it's 35. Yeah, we're up to 48 here today. Uh, last week, we were down in like the mid 30s. We had one night where I got down to 25 or something like that. And I was, I was like, oh no, I'm not ready. It seemed like fall just said, hello, goodbye. And then uh, we had winter weather right away. But I think the fall weather is now being like just kidding i'm here i thought there was a block underneath yeah this is the back of the gas farm mountain okay i'm gonna add a extra block in there that's fine perfect That'll do. That'll do. And then we can, I think this all here is just gonna be stone. Uh, we definitely need to extend you out. This can come up to there. Bam, 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 bam. I don't know if anybody else is a fellow WoW nerd, but uh, random topic, because I was obsessed watching it yesterday, but there's this whole tournament going on. I just, I spent the entire day while I was hunting for the mobs in Minecraft watching the hardcore world of warcraft dueling tournament or these dude it was so fun i was i was it was definitely one of those where i was like man i just enjoy watching 
people that are really good at this game play it and just fight it out. Of all these people, there are 64 that made it into the finals in Hardcore WoW. Spent three weeks in Hardcore, where if your character dies, your character's dead. Like, does not come back. They spent three weeks gearing up a new character and then went into a dueling tournament for the first place got $50,000. There's a $100,000 total prize pool. And it was so cool to watch and just be like, these dudes are so good at the game. But you could see somebody who would, who would lose a duel and you're like, they spent three weeks, three weeks gearing, like getting that character. They're probably playing like 18 hours a day for three straight weeks to get it and then they just lost a duel in 45 seconds and uh that character is deleted now it's like completely gone <laughs> i was like well i guess that kind of relates to what i'm doing of uh if i probably how this world will end is i will die in a few seconds and uh this whole <laughs> two-year project will just be gone <laughs> So I kind of, I was like relating to it a bunch from that because I tried getting in Hardcore WoW and I just could not. I was like, uh-uh, this is too much time to lose your character. And then I was like, wait, I just play Hardcore, I play Hardcore Minecraft. Like, <laughs> that is my job. <laughs> I, how is this any different? I don't know, but it is. Yeah, so I spent most of yesterday watching that and it was good. Just notice your cape is pink. Yeah, it's a new one. If you voted in the mob vote, you'll get it. They're rolling it out slowly to a bunch of people. There's, uh, how many million people voted in the mob vote this year? Does anybody remember the number? I can't remember it. Uh, but yeah, so if you're like, why don't I have the cape? I voted, uh, you'll get your, I voted cape soon. Don't worry. They're, they're, Mojang is slowly rolling them out so they don't crash any login servers or anything like that. Just thought of Vail right away. <laughs> <laughs> Veil is just suddenly like, I'm here. <laughs> I also play WoW. No, they're way better than I am. Than where I, I mean, maybe when I was like super WoW play, nerd mode, I was playing at the level they're playing at. But no, they they go hard. We talked about it a while back, and I was like, Yep, no, you were you were in the thick of it. <laughs> that is not me anymore. I have been playing. World of Warcraft Classic recently, though. That's been fun. That's been a good time. I have a bunch of buddies who still play way too much WoW and are definitely way better than I am that we've been playing together and we've been trying to just go through the old raids. Like, for any buddy who used to be a WoW nerd, Ice Ground Citadel, the big one where you fight Arthas is the is the active WoW Classic tier right now, and that's that's been fun to see been fun to relive the nostalgia vibes minecraft is a bit more relaxing yeah you can take breaks and build a mountain or you can like i did yesterday i completely sidetracked what i was going to do for the entire day and was like you know what i'm gonna go find some hard some halloween mobs today and that's gonna be what i do i still did a good amount of building though i've been making a lot of progress on the next video the, the 50 hours of hardcore Minecraft building for episode 50 uh, is now turned into 50 hours of hardcore Minecraft because I spent eight hours of the 50 hours um, hunting for Halloween mobs and got nothing to show for it. So I'm still counting those eight hours on the timer. <laughs> you can't stop me. Okay, I need a grass block up here so that this will all change over. Boop. Yeah, there's no grass otherwise. But this right here, I think, is a little too flat. I'll just do a little something like that. How many hours have you done so far for the video? I am almost at the 30-hour mark now. So I'm getting there. Are you going to do anything special with the Halloween mobs? I don't know. I'm trying to... I have a whole list of projects I'm trying to do in the hours, and that is not one of them to build something for them, so I don't really know if I'm going to do anything. But yeah, I'm, I'm on day 5,435 right now. I honestly don't... It's amazing when you don't sleep in the game how much longer each day lasts because I've been playing so much, and I, I definitely have not been sleeping through most of the nights, so I've been interested by that. 
Okay, so we want that to come out here. We probably want to... That's probably a good point to stop it. I'm kind of curious. Let's do it. Let's do our little flyaway. Ooh. Ooh. So everything in here over like all of this, that stone line to here, that's all brand new. I like it. I think that works. I think that's pretty good. Can I get it Ooh, in chat, please? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Also, Blocky, I don't think I saw you earlier. Hi. How's it going? Did you just jump in? Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I want to bring the dirt up because I don't want just like this stone ridge line going the entire way. So I want to figure out how we can bring the dirt up. I'm going to just cheaty free cam this. You can see through here, like we have the dirt coming up so much. Like it works up so much into the terrain. I think we need to figure out how to do that. It's like it's just the grass and dirt and everything is coming up so far into the mountain that I love. It feels cohesive. It really flows in with each other. I did. I'm just doing my job today, so a bit busy. So, but must lurk. Hey, no worries. Got to get your stuff done, dude. All good. There. Wow, they are still amazed by the mountain. Yeah. Cheaty Cam. Cheaty Cam. He's a cheater. He's cheating. Oh, no. Not my streamer. That's tons and tons and tons of work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I really love how it's coming along, though. I'm really happy with this. I do like the idea of merging it down into the train, but down there is definitely going to be easy to merge into like there. This, I think what I want to do. Let's so we have that. Let's add one of those like bean shaped rocks that I've done. And that could come back to like here. Cause that gets us like halfway up to that height point. This can be the top of it. And then, oh, I still have the chest piece on. Yeah. If we do this, that'll work. And then we just need to bring this out and back up. Just make it a big old bean. It's fine. Have your daily trees been going? I've been so busy. I haven't been able to the last few days. I don't think I've done a single one this week. I really want to get back into them, though. I was really enjoying them. I've been loving being able to use them. I've incorporated a few into the world, which just feels so good. It's really, really fun being able to see them coming into the builds I've been making. So that's been really cool. But yeah, it's definitely... Uh, getting away from me a little bit. There we go. That'll work. Maybe here we do boop. Let's do that. You play in large biomes? I don't currently, but I have decided that if I do die in this hardcore world, and I go forward with season four. Pleased to meet you. We will be doing that in a large biomes world. That much I have decided. And I'm actually really, really excited for the thought of doing that. Okay. And then up here, I want to bring up a little bit of our dirt. And then we can do a little bit more of our dirt right there. 
And then the dirt also needs to be merged down into here. So it's looping back up behind our blob. Bean, sorry. Sorry, it's a bean. Can I get a world download? There will be a world download posted when episode 50 goes live for everybody who's a tier one member and up. If you guys have a free world download, unfortunately, I do not do those any longer. When you feel satisfied with the daily trees, do you have any plans of doing a daily blank with anything else? Probably not. I think trees are one of those things that as a Minecraft builder, it's really, really difficult to get a bunch of really good looking trees. So I think using that as my my daily build is something that is really obta like obtainable to be doing for a really long time because there's always new types of trees you can build, which I love. I think that's so fun. And then also at the same time, is you can use it as a way to you you practice every single type of fun fundamental minecraft building thing comes in with building trees whether it's organics or whatever you want to say like all of those build elements are incorporated in making a tree so i i think being able to build good custom trees in minecraft is one of those skills that really sets builders apart and once you can figure out good custom trees being able to incorporate that into every other build is honestly kind of i think it makes the rest of the builds better because it helps kind of teach you to work with shape and space especially negative space which is hard to do in minecraft if you had to choose between terraforming and building houses which would you choose i would probably say terraforming I would much more happily just make a giant custom world of terrain and everything instead of just a world of houses. Um, but I also like I don't think a, I don't think many Minecraft houses look good without at least some amount of terraforming done to make them fit the environment. So in terms of that, yeah, I'm definitely gonna gonna say terraforming. Okay, we got that. that. Looks pretty good. Don't know where it's gonna go back to. This is looking pretty good though. I like this. I like it. It's getting somewhere. Uh, that I do want to have like a little bit of stone coming up to it so maybe we figure that out here let's go one two, 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 two. i think this being like its own little ridge to here and then maybe we take this as a line that'll come Here. kind of forces the dirt up there and the dirt can run behind this too oh hey boys how y'all doing good 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 and we can have this coming down a few blocks on this side too so that the terrain isn't only just going up like flat lining up we can bring that dirt down um so let's make you go to here and then we'll bring it down hey no let's Uh, 
I don't have my. <laughs> I don't have my Andrew chest on me. Thank you. Stay there. Me. No, stay over there. Dropping in to say hi. Nice to see you building a custom mountain. Takes me back to the building with whip. No, no, come back over here, sir. Sir, I need you to. Sir, I need to. We need to make comedy happen. Come back over here. Hello. Hello, yeah. Don't murder your fans. Nah, that's fine. Okay, you go down there. Oh, that works. <laughs> I was gonna drop an anvil on him, but that works too. That, you know what, job done. Good job team, we got him. We beat the bad guys. <laughs> Alex, thank you so much for the dono, my dude. I really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I'm I'm really loving working on the mountains again. It's it's been fun. I, I it's make reminded me of how much I enjoy the whole terraforming projects. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you're doing well today. Okay, let's get back up there. Also, uh Marauders uh, Crusader, thank you so much for coming a member. I missed that one earlier. Thank you so very much. Charlotte, thank you so much for the 19 months. So many people are getting so far up there now. I really appreciate that. Doing good, kind of tired. Hey, I get it. I get it. This time of year is always just the, yeah, I'm good, but I'm tired. Just forever a little tired. Pleased to meet you. Uh, Chuck Norris plays hardcore Minecraft and finishes it. Yeah, because he's not that creative. So he didn't he didn't know what to do in Minecraft other than kill the Ender Dragon and get in chance. Yeah. Ka ching and he, he got stuck in 2012 with his jokes. But yeah. It's okay. <laughs> Lulu Goblin, thank you so much for the five gift memberships. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate all the support, y'all. Thank you so very much. How do I become a member? There's a join link below the stream. Or a link or a join button below the stream or there's a link in the description if you would like to it is paid though if you do not see the option unfortunately that means it's most likely not available in your country or there's some parent controls on and neither of those I can control We are almost back at a thousand members. What? I thought that was just going to be the summer high. That's not a somebody gift that many. Don't do it. We'll get there naturally. Yentl with the 19 months doesn't feel long. Also, hi everybody. Thank you so very much. 19 months at tier two. Wow, nice thank to meet you so you. very much. I really appreciate it then. Alex, thanks so much for the five gift members. Man, I wish I had the strength to do hardcore. I just keep, I still play with keep inventory. I mean, no, that's fair. That's a hundred percent fair. I, I used to play with keep inventory before I started making YouTube videos. And I think that is 100% a fair way to do things. Ka ching But, Liz, 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 I said nobody do that. No, no, I said no. I said no, but thank you. But I said no. <laughs> that wasn't me being like, hey. 
<laughs> Lance, thank you so much for the five gift members. Alex, thank you so much for the five gift members. I really do appreciate it. Thank you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, we're getting up here. This is going to be beautiful. Look at this. Look at all this lovely dirt coming in. Dahlia with the five and Jinxie with the 10. Okay, we did it. We did it. We got there. The number will update in a minute. <laughs> thank you all. Thank you. Thank you everybody for jumping on that. I really appreciate it. Dahlia, again, thank you so much for the five gift memberships and Jinxie Heart with the 10 additional gift memberships. I think you gave 10 earlier today too. I really appreciate that. Thank you, everybody. Okay, this needs to be like a, I think a little bit of like a bowl. We'd want to. Oh no, too far. What mods do I use? They're all posted in the Discord, uh, but it's all just vanilla Cha performance mods. It should update in a second. Now that notifications are coming through, it should update in a second. Cha -ching! Any minute now. Any 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 minute now. Oh, this actually needs to be stone coming out this way. Duh. It kinda needs to have a stone face going around. Just hit a thousand likes too. <gasps> We're at a thousand and ten. Thank you, everybody. I didn't even have to ask. I didn't even have. I only. I haven't asked since we had like five hundred likes on the stream. I haven't said anything. This number will update soon, I swear. I swear that's something that's supposed to automatically update. Don't worry <laughs> if I blackmail him for you. Thank you, Sabo. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. As long as the message is getting out, you know, it's really, we just, it's all about the message. Nothing a little healthy amount of blackmail couldn't fix. What? I have a hardcore world. We're making the whole PNW. Wow. So that's a big one to one, one to one scale model in Minecraft. Have fun. Good luck on Mount Rainier. That'd be cool. That'd be that'd be cool. That's that's a big that's a big mountain. Very big. A healthy amount of blackmail. Yeah, I think those two words definitely belong in the same sentence. Yeah. But oh, we need to. Okay, so this. So many green names now. <gasps> Get updated! Woo! Now that everybody, pretty much everybody in here can can do it, can we put a flip heart in the chat? We got a thousand and eleven members. I really appreciate it. Would not be doing this without all your y'all's support. So thank you so very much. Ooh, that's a taco taco. And Jewel says, let's bring it up even more. Thank you so very much. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, Jewel. Hope you're doing well today. Gift to get to the membership goal. Liz, don't do it. Don't do it, Liz. Ugh. 
need to figure out how we can get to there. This we're gonna... Eventually grass will grow oh, again. Again, there's pillagers. We just got rid of them. Who do they think they are? Cha-ching! Rena, thanks so much for the five gift members too. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So that's into there, and then this one is just going to kind of keep casually bending back and coming down. Probably to here-ish. Now we'll just have this kind of loop back to there. Remember the milestone message, folks. Thank you, Blocky, for the 16 months. Yes, yes, yes. If you are a member and you're like, why doesn't my name ever pop up? Click the little dollar sign and you might be able to send a free membership message that you didn't realize you had stocked up and ready to be sent. Now we got some spooky music, so let's go do some, some torching placing. Gash. Okay. Uh, please don't ask for gift memberships. One, because that doesn't work on YouTube. You can only gift memberships to random people. Uh, and if you would like a you. gift membership, hang out in the stream for longer and uh, your chance of getting a gift membership goes up because YouTube gives the gift memberships to people who are active in the community and watching streams so the more watch time you have the higher chance you will you. receive one so if you would like a gift membership be part of the community and you will get one eventually da -ching! who did i miss who did i miss we got yentl with five gift memberships we da got noah with a tier two membership we got Liza Source with another five gift memberships, and we got Jenny with another gift member. Thank you so very much. I appreciate it. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What happened to Skyblock Hardcore? Uh, the series really started to fall off, like, a ton. Um, and it started dragging down other videos, so I kind of canceled it. Not kind of. I did cancel it. That's a torch. That's, that's another torch. That's stone. Bird draws with the eight months. Such a great community. Welcome all the flippers. Flippers is pretty good. Flippers is pretty good. Thank you so very much. I really appreciate the eight months. So are you a bird that draws or do you draw birds? I've always wondered. Either way, it's totally cool. I'm just curious if you're like a super talented bird that like is drawing things or if you just enjoy drawing birds. Both cool. Both great. Heroic Pixels, thank you so much for the five gift members. We got Anima with the gift member. We got Alex with the 21 months at tier two. Thank you all so very much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. All three of you. I really appreciate that. Just like birds. Okay. Yeah, that's cool too. That's cool too. Do you have a favorite type of bird? Pleased to meet you. Birds. I always like hummingbirds. Da ching! We've been watching the uh, National Geographic uh, America's National you. Parks series recently on Disney Plus, and uh, they did a. We just got to the one on season two where they talk about the Grand Tetons. They talk about the hummingbirds in there for a little while and how they fly up from Mexico and all that. And they were showing some footage and I was like, hummingbirds are so cool. What type of hummingbird? I just hummingbirds in general. I just think they're really cool. We got a decent amount of them here in the Pacific Northwest. I'm so bad about refilling the hummingbird 
water feeder like feeder thing that we have you have to do it so often for it to be like something healthy for the birds to drink eat whichever you want to whichever is the correct term for them again heroic pixels thank you so very much alex thank you so much for the 20 months 21 months at tier two and animo with a gift membership i really do appreciate it thank you thank you thank you We got to start shaping this back section up here. Maybe we send it up like this way. And it kind of goes to here. And we'll have a rocky face in front of it. And that's going to go like this. And then instead of... And we can have this flatten out a touch. To here which I love and then we're going to come back up Ooh, that makes that really sharp but that's okay this will just be a little skinny point pleased to meet you we got the Cole John Rambo thank you so much for the, becoming a member my dude I really appreciate it thank you thank you thank you and then we're up on the tippity top to where this I wanted to cover with dirt. And this is also going to have some dirt on the back side so it can maybe we'll stretch this bit out farther. We're not we're not caring about the back yet. We're this is the back does not exist currently. I know I said we we're doing the back of the mountain, but right now the mount the back of the mountain do not exist though. So yeah. That should work. And we can kind of come through out here. My game feels so laggy today. I'm really not enjoying it. It's happened honestly since I installed the better F3 mod. I don't see how that could be causing issues, but it has made the game run slow. The chunks are just feeling chunky, which I don't know how an F3 screen would be doing that, but it's feeling chunky. Oh, I took a screenshot. you do more interior videos interiors i i would love to do more of them but i find that most people don't actually like seeing them they like seeing them done but they don't like seeing the process of making them which makes it really difficult to turn that into content for how many hours like full honesty for how many hours that it takes to design an interior you get maybe like 30 seconds of footage maybe and granted for me that's pretty on par with most things that take a few hours to do but still sucks and interiors don't contribute to a thumbnail so you know hmm. huh. nope you guys specifically just broke you i would like to do more interiors though i that i think maybe that'll be not after I like get the trees going enough maybe that's what I start doing that won't be a daily thing because interiors are difficult and I also don't like doing the oh here's pieces of furniture because I think you can do that to learn like skill sets and whatnot but I think interiors need to be really designed around what you're working with as it's going not like, hey, I have this toolkit of all these pieces of furniture I'm going to pull in. Like, I don't like doing that. That that looks way artificial to me. Granted, you know, something's better than nothing, but we're just not going to talk about that. We'll do that. Okay. I like the interiors you do. Yeah, I enjoy the results of them being in there. 
because I think it, they look nice. But I just, the process of creating them is not fun for me. The inventory management that goes into building an interior, uh, the style I enjoy detailing them is not the most fun to do. <laughs> I feel like I spend more than half the time just sorting my inventory and trying to figure out what blocks I have. So I've resorted to a lot of the interiors I design. I just do them in creative and then I recreate them in survival. And then it becomes a game of, do I have everything that I wanted to include for the build? And that is not the most fun. I mean, granted that's the same as using like Matica for buildings. Um, but for some reason, I don't know, interiors are weird. That's, that's my profound statement of the day. Interiors are weird. When you continue the city, uh, how's episode 50 sound? Does episode 50 sound good? Or is that too late? I could do episode 49.5 on the city, but or maybe we just episode 50. How do you copy a world to design an interior uh, on Java? You go to your .minecraft folder, you go to your saves, and you copy and paste the world save, and it creates a copy of it. When are you going to get another I beacon? Uh, when I run out of every other possible entertaining video idea. To the point where the only thing I feel like I can do to create entertaining content is uh, spend a month and a half of my life, if not more, farming ancient debris. <laughs> Unless they make some better way to get ancient debris, you will you'll never see another eye beacon for me. I I will I'm willing to say that now. Unless there's some somebody comes out with this absurd tunnel bore that just does it all for you. Clears out the lava and everything, which I'm sure one exists. Yeah, I've seen some crazy wither related tunnel bores with that, but like the tunnel bore itself needs a few hundred pieces of ancient debris to be able to work. Um, and I'm not talking about those, but no, I, I, another I beacon would be like a trophy I put up on the shelf and I just never bothered doing anything with, and it only does a 50 by 50 block area. If, uh, if netherite beacons had a purpose other than being a flex, I would do it. But I don't think that I need that in my Minecraft world to like show my Minecraft world is flexing, you know? Like I like I don't need I don't need to just grind for a pointless number of hours to flex on people with the with a my Minecraft world. <laughs> I think I can achieve that by what I'm doing already. <laughs> 50 by 50 is so small. It is. It is. It's really small. We ever do our face reveal? Uh, probably not. No, I don't think so. Just like to keep some things private, you know? Your MC world is one big flux. Yeah, <laughs> that was that was a little bit of the joke. My beacons are emeralds because they're pretty, yeah. I just use iron because that's what I have. But that being said, if you wanna go true MLG Minecrafter flex mode, all your beacons better be made out of gold. If for real. Dude, I tried to do a bunch of the interiors from your last HC world download and my gosh, your organization <laughs> sucks and the inventory thing sucks even more. But it was fun. I got like seven houses done. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. The, your organization sucks. Just sent me. <laughs> Brenda, thank you for the dodo. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Nip, thank you so much for the five months. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I don't. If you try and go into this world and exist off of my inventory management, I. Hats off to you. Yeah, I think it's better to burn it all and start over. If you don't know how I run a, the inventory system in here, you shouldn't even bother trying. 
Oh, yeah, it's just... It's a lot of memorization of where things are. <laughs> and uh, somehow I don't know how I do it. I, I don't give shoutouts to people I don't know. Uh, so, no, you may not have a shoutout. Because I don't know you. Random person who came into my stream. Uh, first, I was vid visiting a lush cave with my 11-year-old daughter. Now I'm building a sewer system under my wife's village. Village? Village. That says village. Don't ask. Watching the stream. Hey, you know? We got some... We got some... It's, if you're curious about the name, that's that's fine. Or if you're... If it's about building the sewer system... I mean, it's better than having things just running down the side of the street. So, you know. Thank you for being the civil servant that you are. Okay, we need this to come up. I think I'm going to break that because I don't want that going forward. We're going to bring this back to here. Chummy Bear, thanks so much for the gift member. I really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That was very kind of y'all today. We're up to 1,040 members. Thank you so very much. Yeah, I really wish YouTube had the ability to, like, pick who you gifted a membership to. I get why they don't. Like, I really do. But also, it's nice to be like, hey, my friend is in this community, and I understand that they can't afford a membership, and I want them to feel like I want to give this to them as a gift. You know, gifted membership. Um, so I, I think that's, that's something that YouTube is definitely missing. Maybe one day. I don't think it. I don't think they'll do it though. There's a cool opportunity coming up soon though that I might get early access to. I, I don't think I can talk about it yet, but it's kind of cool. That would be an interesting thing to try for the community and growing it. So we'll see. Ah. A chummy bear with another gift membership to Jazzy. Okay, we're getting there. Well, I missed that strip, but we're getting there. Da ching. That was another one. Chubby Bear, thank you so very much for the for the the second. Should be an option to specify who you want to give it to. And then any remaining go to random people like how it is currently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that the random does give it to people who are active in the community and who have higher watch time. Like I think that's really cool. That's a fantastic feature. I can't tell you the amount of gift memberships I have on thank Twitch. You kindly to streamers that I have literally never pulled up their streams. Then it shouldn't matter to you who they go to. Maybe they want it to be ultimate fairness. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I get both ways. I understand both ways of why, like how they're doing it. And also I think they want to promote. They definitely did it so people have a incentive to watch streams more often. Because like, like I mentioned on Twitch, I get, I have gift memberships to some people on twitch that i've never ever seen them or seen what they do and i'm not even following their stream like i have no idea who they are and maybe it's somebody out there who's like wouldn't it be funny if i gifted blah 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 a member uh flip a membership to super minecrafter 3052 and they're like maybe that'll mean flip will come in here and tune in because they'll see the notification for it it's like, I get that. I get there could be some merit in doing that and trying to get people into the stream. But also, no. <laughs> if I see them, I just ignore them. <laughs> I'm not going to open somebody's stream because I got a gift membership to it.
But anyways, like they just kind of sit there and I'm like, it's a waste to give it to me. Why, why is it given to me when it could be given to somebody who actually watches the stream? Like that would be pretty cool. Like, I'd love to have, pe I'm like, I would love, like, I appreciate that YouTube does it for people who are here and people who have watched the most because they're most likely to return instead of on Twitch. There's also been streams where I've jumped into somebody when somebody's gifted like a hundred members or something crazy like that. I haven't even followed the stream and I get one of the gift memberships. I'm like, I wish it went to somebody else. You make something with snow. Mm, snow's all the way over there. It's really far. I get that as I'm not an avid stream watcher. Yeah. I think, it, I think there's like merit in both ways. I do appreciate that YouTube's not not just like cloning Twitch in their live streaming, but there's a few things I wish they would clone. Maybe, please. Can we get channel points? Okay, that's looking pretty good. The texturing will help that a lot. I like that it kind of comes down and goes back up because that's the tallest peak. Then there's that one, and then there's this guy, and then we have that one, and down, down, down. The rolling, the dunder. Sorry. Would you like to make something with snow? We'll get there eventually. We got all this land to transform first on our way out. Would you like a copper beacon? Dude, if you could use a copper beacon instead of... Like, if you could create a copper beacon, I probably would just because I like the copper color of it. And then you could see how long your beacon sat there because they would oxidize over time. Like, that would be fun. And I think that is why they didn't do copper beacons is because they would have to make a beacon work i guess beacons already can work if you mismatch like gold gold blocks iron blocks diamond blocks netherite blocks you can do that and make a full functioning beacon so that's probably why they didn't but i mean so no that would counteract what i was saying why they wouldn't because i was like then they'd have to make four new types of beacons no they could do that easy easy just like that just like everybody else who's programmed a Minecraft update in seven days. Dude, the amount of those videos I keep seeing on my YouTube home feed right now. V vomit. So much vomit. No. You didn't program a Minecraft update. You added three mobs. It'd, uh, it'd be so easy to get enough copper to make a beacon, so that'd be less of a challenge. I mean, that, that's not the hard part of a beacon. You can get, like, you can get enough iron, Thank or if you, you live in a mesa, you can get enough gold for a beacon if you have efficiency five. I would bet, I would bet in under two hours of mining, if you have efficiency five, fortune three, and more so if you're in a mesa you can get the gold to make a beacon and probably copper Pro copper yeah copper is definitely easier uh, you're right you're right I, yeah you're right copper is easier but it's not like i guess it'd be probably half hour so it'd save you an hour but th the hard part about beacons has always been getting the wither skelly skulls and then fighting the wither i'd say getting the skulls is the most difficult part because there's so much rng in that just with having to kill wither skeletons and hope that you get the drop. Oh my God, I was watching somebody's hardcore. I had the perfect start in hardcore video. I kind of watch those as like a, I try and figure out where they cheat. I have so much fun with it. I know it's stupid. I hope most of them aren't cheating, but God, some of them are so obvious. I was watching one that came out a few days ago that somebody did. And they're like, you'll never believe this. I went to go kill wither skeletons to get my first beacon. And not only on the first wither skeleton I killed, kills one, drops a skull. The second wither skeleton also dropped a skull. And then wait, number three didn't, but number four did. I'm like, there is the amount of chance for you to get three skulls of your first four wither skeletons you've killed. That is some dream data pack numbers right there. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> all I'm saying is that is that is some uh I modified the drop rates data pack there. It's just a little sus is all I'm getting at. <laughs> I was just like, dude, 
you could have just literally changed the voice line to be like and i spent an hour and a half mining with farming wither skeletons and showed the clips of you killing like six or seven of them but like just let one hit you in between the kills so it looks like you did it far apart because you had to eat food it's all you got to do to make your footage look believable is change your hotbar slightly change the amount he had the same amount of food throughout the pretty much the entire video the person had the same amount of steak on their hotbar i was like you didn't even do step one of cheating come on if you're gonna cheat in a video at least change what's on your hotbar i don't like other hardcore youtubers are all the same whip changes things up yeah i really actively try and stick in the realm of uh it's this is still a let's play this is a we're doing a lot per video let's play but this is a let's play not a film production there's merit in that there's fully merit in that like i i would say somebody who i think does the film production side really well would be like mog swamp or uh looney does a really good job on the film production uh Wunba does a really good job on the film production of their videos uh like mog swamp isn't a hardcore youtuber but his videos are still very much about the production aspect of what he's creating he's telling a story of how i did the thing not really here's me playing minecraft and here's the thing we're doing which i try and stick in the side of here's me playing minecraft and here's the thing we're doing because that's what i enjoy that's i like i don't want to be producing these national geographic level film documentaries of me playing minecraft that's not what i want to do um so but then if you watch like looney's latest video that dude was like here's how i survived this thousand days and most of it was him telling a story of weird little tangents he did during it and like was a voiceover the entire time of him playing it whereas so it didn't it didn't feel like a let's play it felt like you're watching a movie which makes sense for a hardcore thousand days movie looney's 1000 day videos are such a change of pace because it's so much more storytelling than the grinding point yeah 100 percent I could never do that. I, I don't have the brain to be able to put that type of footage together. That's not something I have any interest in doing. <laughs> but more power to him. If he's, if he's willing to go out there and do it, hell yeah. Get it. But not me. <laughs> okay, let's do a little bit out to here. And then we're going to go... there and everything on this inside is going to be dirt did i start a new i think i started uh, if not we'll put a replay marker here i'll do it a triple so it reminds it's me real. This is potentially excited i get to make a stream i normally fall asleep to them at night and watch it four to five nights in a row until i finish it <laughs> your voice suits me to sleep oddly enough. Hey, i appreciate Bye. the dedication thank you so much for the donos and the two gift members earlier tummy bear i really do appreciate that it's very very kind of you did I miss I miss some donos and things like that? Oh, I've been on a rant for a bit. Chummy Bear brought me back. It's like, hey. Or they're like, hey, notifications. They're a thing. I'm like, right, okay. Uh Dalian with the five gift memberships 10 minutes ago. If you're still in here, I really do appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really, really do appreciate that. And Alex, I remember responding to yours, but thank you so much for the two donos. I really appreciate that. The gift memberships don't compel me to watch streams. You and Mog Swamp are the only live streams I watch. Yeah, I've tuned into a few of Mogs. He, he seems to... He seems to have, like, pretty chill, just, like, grinding streams, which are good for, like, background noise. Which is... It's fun. I appreciate the streamers who are very willing just to, like myself, and just be like, this is just the gr grindy project that we gotta get done. It, this thing's here because I can't get myself to do it off camera, which is why we're streaming. <laughs> and I'd be lying if I said that wasn't why we're doing this. No, I, I, I really love the mountain build, but I definitely know that if I'm doing it for a video and I'm doing it myself on like off, like off stream, just recording mode, I get way more in my head about this has to be done now. And so I, I find for these big terraforming projects, I really enjoy just 
being on stream and we placed a ton of blocks today we've we filled two shulker boxes of dirt and i think we've emptied almost four or five sh shulker boxes between the stone and the dirt and everything like that and that's that's a lot of stuff and outside of that we're just kind of chilling and chatting and hanging out which i i really appreciate it keeps me keeps me entertained without feel and also being okay with not really doing a crazy amount i don't i i feel like the getting the work done is the background where the stream is more just hanging out and chatting with you all so it's it's nice how about a mountain lake these mountains aren't going to be big enough to have a lake in them but i definitely want to do something like that for a future project one day whether it be this series or a different series or what i do want to i want to give another chance at a massive mountain range like we did in the building with whip world like i i just i love that so much that that still gives me so much joy to just go back and look at everything that we were able to do on it and i i think that could be i think that could be a good project to do in the future where we did we had a mountain lake we had a whole mountain river system i was working towards building a second lake and then uh ended <laughs> it was time to move on from that world Playing Bedrock most of my life, I never really found it wither very hard, but I recently started playing Java and fought the wither in my survival world, and now I know how much harder it is on Bedrock. <laughs> I still have never fought the wither on Bedrock. Uh, Alex, thank you so much. I did a lot of grindy live streams during my old SMB. It worked really well for that series more than the Keep regular the episodes. I learned if you could, what YouTuber from that that you people want to talk. Not really watch people play Minecraft. Yeah, I feel like most of what we do here is just hanging out and chatting. Good jokes, good vibes, and uh, good music. That's what the streams are for. Uh, if you could, what hard hardcore, what YouTuber would you switch a hardcore world with and why? I don't want to, I, I want to come back to my world. I think it could be fun to, Joel and I actually talked a while back. We never ended up doing anything with it. I'm doing something for like a little fun cross world element like that would be fun i think but also i just love mine so much i don't want to i don't want any i don't want anybody else in here but if i had to pick it'd probably be somebody like joel because i know he'd build something cool Okay, so everything from here over is new. I'm thinking right there we connect that dirt. Yeah, we can make that happen. Oh. Joel, Joel flip crossover hardcore would be fun. I mean, that's what season one of hardcore was. Nobody remembers. Yeah, season one of Hardcore uh, was hashtag not an SMP Hardcore, hashtag not an SMP, um, and then it turned into an SMP. Because Joel and I wanted to start a Hardcore series at the same time, and I was like, hey, what do you think about if we did it together on the same world? Wouldn't that be kind of fun? And he was like, yeah, let's do it. And so he moved over to the world I was in, because I had already started and had episode one out. Um, and then... He got on, he was on there and we did a few episodes together and just kind of meeting up and things like that. And then I think, I don't think Sausage joined. No, Sausage wasn't on, but Scott joined, Jimmy joined, CPK joined, and all of them died pretty quick. And then Joel died. And then it was me and CPK left and he got busy with a bunch of other stuff and just never really logged on and so i was like hey uh here's the world download i'm just gonna take it to single player so i can pause <laughs> and then i died like a week later so you know eh. is what it is my famous short of me taunting the minecraft gods saying they'll never add anything to the game that'll instant kill you come on that's not minecraft this is a kid's game 
I'm very curious. Incoming creeper. Did you ever attempt a modded hardcore? Why or why not? I don't like modded Minecraft. It's literally that simple. I really... Thank you so much for the dono again. I really appreciate it. Uh, I just... Dude, modded Minecraft is too anxiety-inducing. I just can't. I, I will do a light modded series again, but I don't think I'm going to be doing anything crazy full modded. At least not like a long-term series. I just, I can't, I can't bring myself to do it. The inventory management is so bad. And the amount of time that, the amount of off cam things you have to do for a modded series are just not fun. I don't enjoy that. I want all of the content. I want all the content I'm recording to have a possibility to have uh, like content produced out of it. And so much time in modded is just spent on a crafting table or waiting for things to produce or smash together with create. And it's also just like, there's a few people that are doing really good modded series, right? Like now a lot of the create series that Mr. Beardstone, if you're still in here, you pretty much started that whole trend. So you should feel pretty accomplished for it. At least in the recent uptick of that. Uh, like all those people are like, I created the modded world I always wanted. Um, you see a lot of that type of stuff, which those are cool. I've also never done a full single player modded world. I just don't really have interest in it, but maybe, maybe one day. It could be it could be like a fun break from things. No, actually I did. I did the better Minecraft. That was a thing. Forgot about that. Uh I did better Minecraft for a little bit, but I did the fabric version so I could use um whatchamacallit? Yeah. Uh replay mod. That's what I wanted, because I wanted to be able to make time lapses. And then not only did replay mod barely work uh half of the mods in that pack just did not work everything that you saw that was you've seen that's cool about the better minecraft mod packs yeah back then it was not on the fabric version <laughs> so i was like we're gonna have so much fun we're gonna go in here we're gonna do all these things and then i did it and i was like oh none of these features work yeah the bears were great the bears were good yeah, so I, I ended that one because I was like, no, this is this is dumb. <laughs> like all the all the mods I was excited to play with and work with and things like that, they just were not in. <laughs> they were just they were in the mod pack, but they did not work. <laughs> it was whoever had made it at the time. It just kind of forgot to real. build functionality for it. <laughs> That's where I found you. Actually, so fond memories. I'd seen some of Joel's fits and got hooked on your building style. Also, my favorite hardcore death ever. Said, but so, so funny. funny. It's it's yeah, honestly nice you. like you can't you can't write that joke. <laughs> that is a purely a coincidence joke. I still think my favorite part of it, Sabo, if you're still in here, is the only person who swore. I somehow I did not swear. I was swearing on the inside, but the only person who swore <laughs> during that <laughs> because the. I didn't realize that the profanity filters did not apply to moderators' messages. So the only person who swears is my admin, Sabo. <laughs> Everybody else in chat is just like, oh no! It's just like, oh man. <laughs> I was dying laughing. I, I like watching the clip back because I didn't notice it. Because obviously I was just like, I just lost this thing I've been working on for so long, which I thought was like a long time. I thought I've been in the world for a long time. I was like, it was like a thousand days, like equivalent playtime of a thousand days. Uh, so it really was not that long compared to what we do now. <laughs> I was just, I just saw that afterwards when I was like editing it for a short and I was like, oh my God, of course, the one person. <laughs> I thought that was so funny. Yeah, you can't write that joke though. That that's uh that's gotta happen in the moment. You can't just naturally be taunting and having a very serious discussion about how they're never gonna add anything that instant kills you. And then lo and behold, they release this thing called the warden. It's like they're not gonna add any boss mob unless you summon it and it won't be that difficult. It's Minecraft. They're not it's not a 
it's a game about building and exploring, and they're not just gonna add something that comes along and kills you. Boom. <laughs> so good. It's <laughs> so good. Speaking of which. Still having a good laugh about it every now and then. <laughs> yeah, that was a... Uh, could not have been better timed. We're gonna try a rock right here. I don't know if I'm gonna like it or not, but we're gonna do it. I think it's just a little guy. Something like that. I just want to get a little bit of extra height in here. Sorry if there's beeping. Some delivery truck is backing up in the street. What's the mod name for the better animations? It's not a mod. It's a texture pack called Fresh Animations. That being said, you do need a mod to make it work. You can either use Optifine or you can use... Um, I can't remember what the fabric one is called. That's the equivalent of to make the. If you go to the fresh animations page, it'll it'll give you all the info you need. Thank you kindly. Okay, so as my name suggests, I play mod against C mostly, but whenever stuff is added to vanilla, I'm critical of it if it feels modded. I know I'm weird like that, but the warden feels very very modded to me. Yeah, the warden is one that I was really surprised when they announced it. I was very, I, I would have put money on them never adding a mob like the Warden into the game. But now that it's in the game and it's been here for a while, I think it fits. I think it fits Minecraft. And it also gives a challenge for people who were like, Minecraft's too easy. There's nothing hard in this game. Oh my God, that is a loud truck out there. Sodium, is it sodium? I don't think, does Sodium do the animations? I don't think Sodium would do the animations. Yeah, I think I think Minecraft has done a pretty good job. I, it's also one of those where like, if 1.21 came out as a mod, yeah, entity model features and entity texture features. Yeah, what Jewel said there is those are the mods you want. But like if 1.21 came out as a mod people be like yeah that makes sense wow this cool breeze mob yeah that seems really that seems like a good one for a mod like a like that makes sense and then i think a lot of people are also like what is this breeze it activates redstone and things like that doesn't feel very vanilla minecraft i thought the player had to interact with everything um but i, th I think the 121 update people are gonna think it feels very modded for a while but then it's just going to become natural it's the same way when villager professions and things got reworked everybody's like this is modded but it's just because it's new and different auto crafting auto crafting and vanilla minecraft that's definitely modded hundred percent definitely modded but nah villager update felt vanilla due to how bad the pathing is fair understandable P pistons were a mod first as were horses yeah could you imagine if the like a lot of the original features when notch was developing the game that he's now praised for implementing a lot of those were mods that other people made that he was like yep yoink gonna do a little yoink in here and take these but this is what it is okay there we go. We got this. Cherry cape is, in my opinion, the best cape. I do like the cherry cape. It is pretty cool. Turn on shaders, too. I'm blocking everything that I built, but... We're a little late in the day, so we got the shadow on the far side. 
I will do this because that way you can all see it. Look at that. All right, this is where we get like the cool Minecraft thumbnail right here. Uh, if I were to just hide this, we hide the whole camera. I need to hide the text too. We hide the text too. And we do, no, we need that in there. It's now super trendy if you put your pickaxe and your totem in your hot bar. We do that. We're going for the Etho thumbnail. Oh, that's, that's, why did that happen? Hello? Why is my middle monitor showing? Is there a monitor thing in here? Ah, oh, there is. I didn't realize that was in there. That's a duplicate. I'm gonna remove that real quick. Okay. Mountains look so good, OMGsers. Yeah, I think we definitely have lost a little bit of these funky shapes going up where we have these bluffs coming out and things along those lines. But I really do love it. Like, I think this, we could definitely add a bluff out the back there to give that some extra shape to kind of mimic the way that comes in. We can kind of have that coming out, which would be fun. But we're also at a weird angle here. That looks pretty good. Yeah, sorry, I had to delete the thingy. Transform the outpost. Yeah, we'll do it eventually once I get to working on this terrain. Outpost transformations are hard because if you want it to be decent, you need to, and usable, you have to spawn proof it all. Otherwise, it's just something you look at from the distance. And I already have so many builds, <laughs> the horse race, that I just look at from a distance and never really use. Okay, let's go back and do another look looky at with the complimentary shaders. Yeah, that's complimentary reimagined. My favorite version of it. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Let's just go land down and do some cheaty cam. We can get a better look at it without killing the Elytra. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Look at that. Need an eye candy shop for the Twitters. Look at that! We got the rivers coming down. We could. Ah, do we want to do another river? No, I don't think. Maybe. Do we? I kind of had like streams off of each of these mountains. We could have another one coming out through here or something like that. Coasting down there and then do 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 do. I don't know. We'll see. We got plenty of time to keep on messing with this. Or we, because I don't really want to have a river. I don't want cam too much. We can fly around back here. I don't really want to have a river coming out this way because it doesn't have anywhere to go unless we full on send it to here. And it goes like along the edge of the horse racetrack. But that's a lot of terraforming to get that to naturally flow downwards because we can't have the river coming back up. Be stupid. But look at that. We're starting to close it in. Let's get in there. All of that over to there is new, so that's pretty fun. Slowly but surely. How do you get the cape? This cape? That cape? I like it like this. I like this. Not a big fan of this. This, cool. This, lacking detail. But it's okay. Uh, you get the cape for voting in Minecraft Live 2023. So if you voted or accessed the mob vote server, you can get the cape. If you did not vote, apologies, my friend. Yeah, complimentary reimagined. If you go off the default settings, surprisingly, very well optimized for a Minecraft shader. Not many Minecraft shaders are that optimized. A lot, even if you turn on potato mode, you're still just running. You're, you're, it's just not good. It's not good. Yeah, the wings are like, they're fine. I just, I like how much, oh, how did you get up here? I like how much detail you have in this, where there's a trim, they have like the little square pixels, like that little bit I love over there. You have more of the flowers on here. This is more just pink gradient, which is fine. It's cool. It's, it's a vibe. I'm here for it what I'm really here for. Is this. 
Sorry, I'm just having fun taking pictures. And we take the helmet off. We look slightly downward. And we got the pickaxe because we're building. Nailed it. What's up, eggs? How you doing? Fortunately, my friends, I think that is going to do it for today. We've been going for two and a half hours, and I still got some other building stuff to do. So, um, we got some work to do. Do I have my inner chest? I don't have my inner chest. I'll give you all a quick spoiler, though. If you didn't catch it at the beginning of the stream, I'll go show you. And I think I missed it. For some reason, it didn't pop up. Uh, Juggalit Jetta, I think so much for becoming a member like Thank 10 minutes ago. And then What's also, the the Katie, thank you so much for becoming a member. I really do appreciate it. Circumstances try to sass me and tell me to rewatch the stream. I've been here too long and know how you operate. Dean. Okay. Well, in that case, there you go. It's right there. Go back and pause the stream and you can find it. <laughs> Look, a spoiler. They are connected. There's a spoiler. Yeah, I, I'm working on it. I'm not. I'm not doing all the buildings, but I am. Uh, we've we've got road. We've got road connecting. And hey, look, spoiler. What's your opinion on Legacy Edition of Minecraft? Cool classic version of Minecraft. Not something I'm gonna play though. I want to unsee it. Oh, sorry. Well, that my friends. It's gonna do it for today's stream. Thank you all so very much. I really do appreciate it. Are you planning a shrine for the tree in the city? There's definitely gonna be a lot of them. There's I have little shrines all over the place. They're more just like nature and like they always have flower pots and just fun colors around them and things like that. But that's kind of the vibe I go on. I'm not doing anything. I'm not creating a religion or anything in this world, but yeah. Thank you all so very much for being here. I really do appreciate it. Y'all are absolutely amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the support today. I really do appreciate it again as i just said we're we're up almost a hundred members today thank you thank you thank you i really do appreciate it everybody uh we'll be back again on friday to keep working on the mountains we got a lot more work to do on those and uh yeah it's gonna be good it's gonna be great i'm really having a good time with that it's been a fun project to work on and all those cool things but my friends i'm out of here for now if you have not heard tomorrow is the five thousand days movie releasing because i wanted to have a little bit more time to work on the next hardcore video so we're throwing that one out instead so extra episode 50 gets a little bit of extra love put into it but yes that'll be out tomorrow morning thank you all so very much y'all have a wonderful rest of your day rest of your week weekend all that good stuff and we'll see you next time we'll see you catch you on the flip side bye